Hello, welcome to Latitude Live Yoga with Jesse. This evening we're going to be doing a yin and yang sequence for opening the hips and the heart, helping us to become a little more flexible and eager to change. So we're going to relieve some stress, some tension. I recommend a yoga mat if you have one and definitely some props. So grab some pillows, a blanket, whatever you might need in order to just to provide yourself a little more support as we are working with hips that tend to be tight and different for the body it's nice to have some support so we can still benefit and really receive the positive effects of this of the stretch of what we're doing the pose the asana as opposed to uh the body trying to grip and hold on because it's trying to protect itself so definitely use some support so let's go ahead and start on our back today. So if you have props, I recommend using them underneath your knees as we're gonna go into reclined Baddha Konasana. So you're gonna put the soles of your feet together and let the knees open out nice and wide like seen here, but you're gonna lay all the way down. So you can bring your heels close to the groin or far away from the groin in order to match the intensity you're feeling today. Closer in is a little more intense farther away is a little less but feel free to explore it could be a little different for you you might have a sweet spot right so definitely take a look at it take my book back here I'm gonna lay down and once you're settled begin to just allow the body to relax kind of like a sense of unwinding so you're allowing yourself to feel this sense of openness. And if at any point you'd like to move the legs, feel free just to extend them all the way out into Shavasana. If you're feeling any tension or too much tightness in the low back today, you can take the knees up towards the ceiling, take the feet wide, and the knees rest on one another. So complete opposite of what you're doing right now. But if it is okay with your back and your hips and your legs, to open up towards the sides. Allow yourself to notice how it feels. That physical sensation and what that can be described as. Remember that our yoga class should never cause any sharp or shooting pain. And if you do get any of those signals from the body, slowly remove yourself from the pose. Take a pose that feels better for the body. Give yourself a moment to recoup. However, keep in mind that some of the poses we do tonight may be uncomfortable. You may not feel at ease or relaxed. And you do want to notice that sensation. But allow yourself to rest in a place that you can breathe freely. So if your breath becomes too choppy, if you feel like you can't catch your breath, that's a good surefire sign just to change or alter the pose to make it a little more easeful. So as you lay here, your whole body is rested on the floor. Imagine that the earth is reaching up beyond the floor to support you. Allowing yourself just to rest even heavier. Now turn inward and notice that internal landscape. Notice what feels tight or sticky. Or maybe like there is something dense or foggy. And don't attempt to change it. Just let it be, let it exist, and just observe it. Now, notice somewhere something that feels good, free, open, maybe even juicy. A feeling in which you can really just allow yourself to 
let go of. Imagine that that freedom spreads through the body as you practice tonight. And try not to really preference one or the other as both the open and closer, closures in the body are necessary at some point or another. And it's all about finding a sense of balance, allowing the energy in us, our prana, our life force to move freely and fully. So let's take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> One more, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Using your hands, reach down to the knees and gently lift them back up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, reach it long, hands overhead, feet out in front of you. And then exhale, pull the right knee into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. Take a deep belly breath. Flex the left foot, press the heel away as you keep pulling the right knee into the chest a little bit more. Now allow yourself to slide the hands to the back of the thigh and reach the foot up towards the sky. Keeping the foot flexed, the toes are coming back down towards you. Exhale, let the heel come back down. So you're still keeping the thigh to the chest. Inhale, float the foot up. Exhale, flex the foot, lower it down. So you're pressing through the heel. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower down. All right, inhale, lift the foot up. Now flex the foot, really press through the heel, and press the thigh back into your hand. So you're really pressing the hands away from you, but allow your shoulders to try to relax. Now, if your knee stays bent because of tight hamstrings, that's perfect. That's perfect as well, okay? So no need to force it. Only going into that first edge and allowing yourself to meet your body, meet yourself exactly where you are. So give yourself a moment here. Try to find some ease in the shoulders and the neck. Take a breath in. And a breath out. All right, squeeze the knee into the chest once again. Bend the left knee. Place the left foot on the floor. Take that right ankle, cross it over the left knee. Use your right hand for just a moment. Press into that right thigh, opening up that right side waist. Feel how it's almost like your hip drags towards the front of the mat. As we continue with this pose, you want to still keep that length in the right side waist. So take a breath here. Now keeping the right toes facing towards the shin, so you're pulling them back. Imagine um, that you can still hold this shape with that right leg and thread your hands through the right leg and the left. So wrap your hands around the left thigh. So you're going into a figure four. That took way longer to explain. Use your right elbow. You can press into the right thigh here. You can use your right hand if that's better for you. You still want to try to keep your head, neck, and shoulders relaxed on the floor. And as you're holding on to the left thigh, inhale, reach the left foot up towards the sky, and exhale, lower it down. A few more times. Float it up. Lower it down. One more. Float it up. Keep it lifted, knee bent or straight, and just roll the ankle a couple times. All right, place the left foot back on the floor. Release the left thigh. Keep the right foot where it is. Open the arms out like a T. And let the right foot come down to the mat. So your left hip, left thigh comes down to the mat. And your right hip lifts off the mat. You're coming into a twist. So up and then just down to the side. Keep that right knee facing towards the ceiling. I like to use my left hand to hold on to the right ankle. Really allowing the right hip to be heavy here. So I begin to feel a stretch here in the QLs along that, that waistline. Kind of beginning at the front of the uh, hip point towards the rib cage. If you breathe deep and up into the belly and truly begin to find a sense of relaxation, you may even be able to begin to stretch the psoas, which is a deep, deep muscle in the body. So allow the breath to be deep in the belly and try to relax the right hip as much as you can. Try to relax the belly as much as you can with each exhale. And just try to soften the head, neck, and jaw. You can keep the gaze towards the ceiling. 
Or you could turn the face in either direction, whatever suits your needs. And I invite you to stay present with the body, with the sensation you're feeling. And knowing that some of these poses that we're working with tonight can stimulate the, the meridian lines of the body, which are the energy lines of the body that cause, um, or that when are blocked can cause fear and frustration. And just know that if you feel any emotion arising, just to let it, let it arise and let it go with no attachment. It's just part of the experience as the body opens up. And know that if you have no emotional arising, that's perfectly normal as well. So just allow yourself to be here now. Letting go of the day and the week, maybe even the last month. Giving yourself permission to exist here on your mat in this time. Only for yourself. Nurturing the body and the mind. Take one more breath here. And then nice and slowly, inhale, begin to lift the foot back up. So the whole legs lift back up. Reach the right foot up towards the sky. And then place it back down on the mat. All right, we're going to switch it up. Inhale, lift the left foot to the sky. Extend the right foot out if it's comfortable for you. Flex the right foot. Hold your hands onto the left leg. Squeeze it into your chest. So your hands could be on your shin here if that feels better to you. If it's too much tension on the knee, you can just keep your hands on your thigh. And just keep squeezing in towards the chest and take a couple belly breaths. Just keep flexing through the right foot if it's extended so that leg is nice and strong as if you're about to step or push into the floor or the wall in front of you. Try to keep your shoulders and neck relaxed. And now we're going to begin to extend. So you're going to lift the foot and lower it down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Just feeling some movement, getting that, that prana moving through the body, energizing the tissues, the joints. All right, bring the foot up towards the sky. Pull the toes back towards you. Press through the heel. Press the thigh away into the hands, as well as pressing the hands into the thigh a little. So it's a little bit of that counter movement that really helps with the stretch. Go ahead and roll the ankles a little. And then bend the right knee. Place the foot on the floor if it's not already there. Let go of the left leg. Cross the ankle over the right knee. Press the left thigh away from you, feeling the length in the left side weight. Keep the left toes coming back towards the shin so you're flexing the foot. That action helps create a little more stability in the knee. All right, so keeping that length in the left side waist, if you'd like to take it into figure four by picking the feet up, wrapping the hands around the right thigh, feel free to do so. Press into the left leg if you'd like with your left elbow. Creating more opening, creating more length in that left waist. And if this is too much, if there's strain or stress in your neck here, you can always use a strap or a towel or something to hold on to the thigh, to wrap around the thigh to give yourself more space, more length. And then as you're holding here, go ahead and begin to extend that right knee, reaching the toes up, and then bring them down. We just did this three times on the last side. So let's do it three times here. Feeling that little extra movement. After the third time, bring the right foot back down as you let go of the thigh. Keeping the left foot where it is, you're going to rotate the torso now, uh, the lower half of the torso towards the right. So the right foot comes down. So right thigh comes down, left foot comes down, and you're on the right hip as the left hip lifts. Make sure both shoulders are trying to stay heavy. You can extend the left arm all the way out 
and maybe use your right hand to hold on to the right or uh, the left ankle like a brain twister tongue twister for your brain so allow that left hip to be heavy and take some nice deep steady breaths here into the belly hopefully targeting a little of the QLs and the psoas you can allow the gaze to go in either direction here. As you relax the body. Softening the neck and the shoulders. Feeling the breath move in a rhythmic manner. Where the inhales and the exhales are the same length. Keep softening here. Lean inward. As we begin to observe really what's happening inside. And we can stay present with all the intensity that arises. It allows us to really meet ourselves where we are. Sometimes that is an uncomfortable place for us to be. And we build this, this sort of endurance for the mind. That allows us to embrace the difficult. And maybe even find some freedom and some joy within it, or at least within the moment surrounding it. We'll just be here for just a couple more breaths, actually almost over. All right, so one more nice deep breath. Begin to lift the legs back up, free the left foot, squeeze both knees into the chest. Maybe you rock a little side to side here, massaging the low back. Maybe you bring your hands underneath the shin, so on the back of the thighs, and you can begin to rock a little forward and back, massaging the back. Our next pose is a forward fold. So you're gonna stand up and fold over. If you can rock all the way there, feel free to do so now or take your time and make your way there. Take your feet a little wider than the hips, bend the knees a lot. Let the belly rest down towards the thighs, let the head rest down. So feel free to put your hands on the floor. If you have props nearby and you wanna rest your hands on props, if you wanna just hold on to opposite elbows, that's an option as well. As we do hold this pose for a moment here in the ZN version, Allow yourself to really feel the feet connected and feel some ease in the low back by bending the knees a lot. Notice where you're feeling sensation and imagine as though you can breathe life into it. Imagine sending your breath there like it's an extension of the lungs. So press down through all four corners of the feet. As you continue to hold the pose, maybe you begin to straighten the hip, the knees a little bit, lifting the hips a little higher. Keep relaxing the neck by allowing the chin to, to come in towards the chest. If your arms are crossed, go ahead and cross them the opposite way. Allow yourself, if you want, to take a little movement or wiggling. Feel free to do so here. Just feel a steadiness of breath and stay tuned to what is happening in the body. What does it feel like to move versus what is it like to be still? One more breath. Nice and slowly release the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. The hands come to your shins. You're going to shrug the shoulders back, reach the heart forward, pull the belly button up and in, press the thighs back, and let the weight shift in towards the toes. Allow the gaze to stay down at the floor. Maybe you feel the hamstrings working, the core is turned on. 
Take a breath, try to soften the shoulders. And then inhale, come all the way to standing, lift the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands down to your heart center. Close the eyes or soften the gaze at one non-moving point and allow yourself to refrain from fidgeting or wiggling and just arrive in this place, in this moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs for your Uttanasana. You can bend the knees as much as you want. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Use your right hand to hold on to the left wrist and allow yourself to bend over to the right. Press down into the left heel so you can stretch maybe just a little bit more. Take a breath in and a breath out. Keep the heart lifting up towards the sky. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift back up. Switch the hands so your left hand is holding on to the right wrist and begin to tilt over towards the left. Press firmly down into the right foot, stretch a little bit more. Right shoulder pulls back, heart reaches up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to tabletop. So hands and knees, knees underneath the hips, wrist underneath the shoulders. Tuck all 10 toes so you're getting a stretch in the arches of the feet. Press back through the heels. Spread wide through the fingers. Let the thumbs rest in about halfway. As you rotate the arms so the biceps come forward, can you imagine without moving the hands the action of pulling the thumbs towards one another? So it's like you're pulling the arms in, like they're magnetized. Now pull the belly button in towards the spine, keeping that engagement. Inhale. Pull the heart up and lift the tailbone, cow tilt, and exhale, round the spine for your cat pose. Let the chin come to the chest, tail goes down. Go three more times. Inhale, heart forward, tail lift. Exhale, round the spine, chin comes to chest, press the floor away. Inhale, lift the gaze, shrug the shoulders back. Exhale, really press down into the floor to lift up through the space of the shoulders. Inhale, come to a neutral spine. Step that right foot all the way back so you're straightening the leg. Step the left foot all the way back so you're in a plank pose here. One long line from heels to heart. Gaze is down. Shrug those shoulders down the back. Reach the heart forward. Press the heels away from you. Pull the belly in. Imagine those thighs are active. Reach them up towards the ceiling. If you'd like to lower your knees down, please do so. And then lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, cobra pose, press the top of the feet into the mat, engage the belly, inhale, lift the heart, shrug the shoulders back, exhale, lower down. Two more times, inhale, cobra pose, lift the heart, imagine pulling the hands back towards the hips, exhale, lower. Keep pressing the feet into the mat, inhale, lift the heart, reach it long, this time stay lifted. Maybe you even hover the hands off the mat. Sweep the shoulder blades in, pull the belly button in. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, press back through those heels. Activate through the legs, whether you're keeping the knees down or lifted. And at your end of your exhale, press yourself up to your plank pose. Take an inhale here and exhale, press back downward facing dog. Feel free to take a few moments here. Pedal through the feet. Wiggle through the hips. Take any movements in down dog that might feel good to you. And then upside down D position. Still staying rooted and connected through the hands. Biceps are rolling forward and you're actively pressing the floor away. Really stay strong in the core as you knit the low ribs in keeping the ears between the biceps so you don't sink too far down. Bend the knees almost to the floor, so the shins are almost parallel. Press into the hands, reach the hips even farther back. 
Then lift the hips high, heels high. And then exhale, heels look. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, heels look. One more, inhale, heels high. Bend the knees just a little. Then press the thigh bones back as the heels drift down towards the mat. Nice. The heels might not touch, and that's perfect. Just as they are. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more, inhale. And exhale. Lift the gaze to your hands. And begin to walk the feet up to meet them. Lift up halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step the big toes together, squeeze the thighs together. Engage the belly, reach the heart up to the thumbs. And exhale, bend the knees, send the seat low, chair pose. So it's just like you're about to sit into a chair. Weight is in the heels. You can even look down and see your toes. Engage the belly to lift the heart a little higher. And exhale, sit a little lower. Squeeze the thighs towards one another. Take your hands, interlace them behind the low back. Try to reach the arms away as you squeeze the shoulder blades, lifting the heart up a little bit more. Sit a little lower. Squeeze the thighs in, pull the belly in. Find some softness, find some ease. Feel the rhythm of your breath. One more. Keeping the hands where they are, begin to straighten the knees and fold over the legs. Maybe the hands spill off of the low back, reaching up towards the ceiling, keeping the heart open, even though the head is reaching down towards the ground. It's a nice way to open up the shoulders here. If it's too much for you, feel free to let go. Inhale. And exhale. All right, begin to bend the knees, set the seat low, lift back up in chair pose, hands behind the back. Sit a little lower. Belly up and in. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, straighten the legs, stand up, let go of the arms, reach them overhead. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Lift up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower to the belly. Take the hands wide off the mat, tent the fingers, reach the elbows up towards the ceiling. Press the feet down into the mat. Press down into the fingertips. Inhale, lift the heart up off the floor. And exhale, lower down like a wave. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, lift up with the heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower. Place the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck those toes. Press back through the thighs. Press yourself up, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Three nice, steady breaths here. Biceps roll forward. Let their shoulder blades hug down the back. Supporting the body here. Bringing space in the neck. Stay active in the legs. Press back through those thighs. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, walk, step, or hop the feet to meet the hands. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, fold over the legs. Lift halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back. Lower the left knee, untuck the toes. Press both feet firmly into the mat. Imagine squeezing them in towards one another. Lift up through the heart, bring the hands to the hips, and then <laughs> hands to the knee, and let the hips sink. So imagine pulling those feet towards one another. Hips are sinking. Heart is lifting. Take a few breaths here. From here, if you'd like, maybe reach the arms all the way over high. But try to lift the frontal hip point so the spine is nice and long. Keep pulling the feet in. Exhale, hands down. Left hand plants. Shrug the shoulder back. Inhale. You're going to twist to the right. Right hand comes to the thigh or maybe all the way overhead. Keep hugging the right knee in towards the midline. Feel length from tail to head. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you reach towards the back foot and bring the left foot towards the hand. So if you can grab the foot, feel free to do so. You can get a nice little quad stretch there. 
deepening the hip flexors as well. Or maybe just stay reaching, really deepening that twist there. Wherever you are, two more breaths. One more. If you're reaching behind you, inhale, bring the hand all the way back down to the mat. Roll your hands are planted. Tuck the left toes, step the right foot back, plank pose. Move through a vinyasa. If you would like to evolve it to lowering halfway for chaturanga and lifting up for upward facing dog, feel free to do so. But make sure you're listening to your low back and your shoulders. So if you begin to feel any discomfort in your shoulders or your low back, then just keep lowering to the belly for your cobra. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, step the feet a little closer together, float the left leg up and back. Toes face down, foot is flexed, you're pressing the heel away. As you do this, try to let the right heel feel nice and heavy, stretching the right leg as well. One more breath here. Exhale, step the left foot up between the hands, lower the right knee, untuck the toes. Imagine squeezing the legs in towards one another. Bring your hands to the knee, let the hips sink. Take a moment here. Feel all of the feels in the thighs and the legs, the hips. Pull the belly in. Feel that right glute really engage as you begin to lift the hands up towards the sky. Take a few deep breaths here. Imagine lifting the heart up, pulling those shoulder blades back and down. Keep the chin neutral. One more breath. All right, hands down. Right hand seals to the mat. Shrug the right shoulder back. Twist to the left by reaching the left hand to the thigh or all the way overhead. Really press into the right hand to lift up out of the right shoulder. Hug the left knee in towards the belly. And exhale, twist a little bit more. Maybe you wanna take that left hand towards the back of the mat and scoop up the left foot or reach or right foot or reach towards the right foot. Wherever you are, you're twisting. You're sinking the hips, feeling length in the spine and keeping the left knee hugging in. Two more breaths here, wherever you are. Last one. Inhale, begin to reach the left hand all the way down. This time, step that right foot up to meet the left. Lift up halfway and exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, this time, right foot goes back. Rotate the right heel down so your knee is lifted. You have a heel to arch alignment, setting up for your warrior two. Bend the left knee, stack over the ankle. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lifting the chest. Your whole chest is facing the right edge of the mat, and you have a heel to arch alignment. Bend that left knee, and make sure you're squeezing it open towards the pinky so you can look down and see the big toe. Now take a look at your right arm. Make sure it's level with the left. Reach them as far away as you, from you as you can, and then squeeze the biceps so they hug the bone, and then allow yourself to Tuck the shoulder blades back in towards one another, lifting up through the heart. The gaze travels over the left middle finger. Take a deep breath. Keep pressing down firmly into the right foot and flip that left palm, reach it up and back. Inhale, reverse your warrior. You can keep the gaze up towards the ceiling or maybe down at the right foot. The right hand just relaxes easy on the right thigh. Keep committed to the bend in the left knee. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Keep the right hand planted. We're going to go into another twist. Press back through the right heel. Keep the knee lifted if you want this time. Hug the hips in. Feel the glutes engaged. Inhale, lift the left arm. This time, reach the left arm towards the front of the room. So your long line from the heel to the fingertips. Imagine you can get a little bit longer. Hug the hips in. 
Imagine folding the feet in towards one another. Press the right hand down firmly into the floor. Exhale, left hand comes down. Step back, plank pose. You can either lower halfway or all the way down or go all the way back to your downward facing dog. You can even take a child's pose here and move through your flow and we'll all meet in our down dog. Two breaths, inhale, and exhale. Step the feet a little closer together. Inhale, float the right foot up and back. Foot is flexed, toes are down. Press both heels down and away. Engage the belly, lift the hips up a little higher. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. Rotate the left heel down. We're setting up for our warrior two. Inhale, lift up, reach up, arms out, level with the shoulders. As you're reaching, you're hugging back in towards center. Squeeze the feet in towards center. Bend that right knee, squeeze it open. Gaze over the right fingertip. Settle here. You're building strength. You're building stamina. Even though that might be uncomfortable, you might feel some burning, some some fire happening in the body, the muscles talking to you. Know that you can stay and that it's okay. One more breath. All right, let's flip or reverse the warrior. So bring the left hand down, flip that right palm, reach it up and back. Stay active in the legs as you're pulling the feet in towards one another. Pull the low belly up and in so you can reach the heart a little higher towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. All right, inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come down. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Twist it open to the right. Press down into the feet. Hug that right knee in. Inhale, lift the arm up overhead. Exhale, reach it towards the front of the room, palm down. Shrug the left shoulder back. Press back through the left heel. Reach it long as the heart continues to twist up towards the ceiling. Imagine squeezing those feet in towards one another. Hugging the glutes in towards one another. Deep breath here. One more. Exhale, hand comes down. And you're going to step that right foot or the left foot up to meet the right. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And take a quarter turn on your mat so you, re you face the long edge. Whichever way is more efficient for you, so you can still see. Now take the feet nice and wide. So they're about four feet in length. So imagine if you reach your arms out like a star, that it's in line, your heels are in line with your wrists. Okay. Hands come to the hips. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you reach the heart up. And exhale, fold over the legs here. Bring the hands down to the mat, head hangs heavy. Inhale, let's walk the hands out, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold again. Let the hands come down and rest wherever is comfortable for you. You can even hold on to the ankles. You can walk the hands back between the feet, away from the feet, in front of the feet if you wanted to make it like a wide leg down dog. Sometimes that's really nice. You can find stillness, you can find a little movement. Do whatever you can to make this practice even a little bit more of your own. What is your body asking for? Just allow yourself to stay connected, rooted to the earth, feeling the connection with the feet, feeling a strong core to support the low back, and try to relax as much as you can around the neck and the shoulders. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. All right, inhale. Let's walk the hands up, lift halfway. You're gonna bring the heels in so the toes are out at a 45 degree angle. Begin to bend the knees and send the seat low. So you're like in this little frog squat. You can even use blocks or a pillow here. You can bring your arms towards your legs maybe your hands on your thighs. Let's all do that actually. Inhale, bring your hands to your thighs. Lift the torso up. 
feel length as if you're sticking the bum out, lifting the heart up in the opposite direction. Use your hands, press into the thighs, open up the hips so the knees are widening out away from center. Take a breath here. Exhale, let's twist to the left by lowering the right shoulder down, looking over the left shoulder. Take three breaths here. Notice how it might intensify the stretch in that right hip, the right thigh. Can you breathe into it, soften into it? One more. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go to the right. Left shoulder comes down. Press into the left thigh. Let the hips settle. Keep lowering that seat. Feel the stretch. Two more breaths. Find ease in the neck and the jaw. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your hands to heart center. Lift the torso. Straighten the legs. Take a breath here. Now exhale, bend the knees once again, squeeze the knees open. This time imagine your hips and your shoulders are in one line against a wall. Squeeze the knees open. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, sit a little lower. Inhale, really reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down towards the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Last one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Begin to lean the heart forward just like we started this pose. So you're still squeezing those knees open. This time it's like your hips and shoulders are in one line parallel with the floor. If you need to bring your hands down here, do so. Take another breath. Maybe you reach the arms all the way out towards the front, overhead. Keep squeezing the knees open. Sit the seat low. Two more breaths here. You can do it. Feel the shakes, feel the shimmies. Exhale, hands down. Straighten the legs, fold in. So the feet are parallel once again. Folding down in between the legs, relax the head and the neck. Inhale, lift up halfway. Allow the toes to come out a little bit once again at that 45 degree angle. This time we're gonna bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight, maybe walk the hands over. Once again, you can stay lifted up on the thigh. You can keep your hands on the floor. Or maybe you bring your hands to your heart. You might even sink the hips, let the left toes come off the floor so they point up. Take a moment here in whichever variation is best for you. Opening up the hips. Lifting up through the heart, feeling length in the spine. Slowing the breath down. Bring the hands down to the mat and then lift the hips up so you can walk it all the way over to the left. Variations, once again, you have that option of staying up on the leg. You have the option of staying to have the hands down or maybe you let the seat come down towards the floor, flexing the right foot, toes facing up. Maybe you bring your hands to heart center or take whatever bind is in your practice. The breath being smooth and deep. Staying present with the experience with what you're feeling. One more breath. All right, hands down. You're gonna come back towards the center. Now toe heel the feet in so they're even closer. Now 45 degree angle, feet Toes facing out, heels in, bend the knees a lot. So coming down to a nice little squat, yogi squat. So the feet might need to come in more. They might need to be further. Figure it out based on what feels good to your body. But you're trying to keep the knees open. Now, if your heels are lifted off the ground, that's fine. You can stay lifted. You can use any props here. You can put a pillow underneath your seat. You can lean on a pillow in front of you. The idea is you want a long spine. And you want the knees squeezing open, so you're trying to open up those inner hips. But you want to keep the heart lifted. So you can look like a little froggy. You can let the seat be heavy. Try not to fall back like I almost just did. Try to stay on your feet. Take a few breaths. Close the eyes maybe if that's comfortable for you. So you can really come take that, 
that mind's eye back to the internal landscape. Allow the breath to be smooth. One more breath. All right, exhale, hands come down. You're gonna lift the hips back up, forward fold, toe heel those feet in, hip width apart, hang heavy. Relax the head and the neck, shake it out maybe. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing, arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Step back to the front of the mat. Step the big toes together. Press the hands into one another, lift the heart to the hands, and exhale, bend the knees, send the seat low for your chair pose once again. This time, inhale, reach the arms out in front of you. As you continue to sit back in the seat, try to bring the chest down parallel with the floor. So you're reaching out in front of you. You could always keep your hands at heart center or on your hips here um, based on what feels better for your shoulders. Squeeze the legs into one another, stick the bum out, reach the heart and the hands forward. Let the ears rest in between the biceps as the gaze is at the floor. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs, lift the hips, shake the head out. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Feel free to move through a vinyasa if you want. So you can just hold out and plank. You can do a couple push-ups. You can lower to the mat. You can lower halfway. You can just take a child's pose. Lifting those hips up and back, we will all meet in down dog. So take your time, make your way. Have a little travel all the way back to your down dog. All right, feet come together. Inhale, lift that right foot up and back. Exhale, bring the right knee in towards the right tricep. Okay. Now bring the heel over towards the left hip. So your foot is at a 45 degree angle and you're extended through the ankle so your toes are pointed. Now lower the shin down. So you're at that 45 degree angle. Step the left foot back, keep the left knee lifted. As your left toes are tucked, press the heel away from you. Bring the hands back a little bit so you can really lift up through the heart. Imagine squeezing the feet towards one another. So you're hugging that right hip back, rolling the left hip forward as you pull that left foot in. Reach up with the heart here. Stay here. Maybe you keep squeezing and you can bring your hands to your heart. Press the right big toe into the mat. Stay lifted. Use the strength of your thigh. Roll that left hip down. One more breath. All right, exhale, hands come down. Lift that right knee up towards the tricep. Lift it up, three-leg dog. Reach it back and up. All right, exhale, right knee in towards right tricep. This time, you're going to flex the foot. Try to take the foot towards the left wrist. So now the shin is coming more toward 90 degree angle. Place the knife edge of the right foot onto the mat. Keep the knee lifted. Pull those left toes in towards you. Reach the heart forward. Feel how you find that adjustment in the hips here. Hug the arms in towards one another. Stay here for three, two, one. Lower the left or the right shin, right knee down and the left knee down. Keep the left toes tucked. Still imagine pulling that right knee and that left knee in towards one another. Reach the heart forward. Stay here for a few breaths. If you'd like to lower down to your forearms, do so. Keep that engagement of the legs. You could use props here. Blocks underneath the arms. Keep pulling the legs in towards one another as you reach the heart forward, using energy in this pose. Now you're going to begin to release some of that energy. So untuck the left toes. That's your signal. Let the hips sink here. 
Allow yourself to relax through the right leg. Maybe the heel comes closer in towards the groin. Now truly begin to let this body soften around the pose. Feel free to put a, a, like a blanket or a pillow underneath the right hip if it's lifted to create even more of a sense of grounding. And allow yourself just to soften here. Allowing yourself to observe the breath. Feel it moving fluidly in and out of the body. Noticing the sensations you might feel in the legs, the hips, the glutes. Try to relax into that sensation. Embrace it for all that it is. Allow yourself to go into each pose just as we go into life. With the ability to embrace the unknown. To enjoy each moment as if it's a new road trip and each minute is like a new stretch of road that we just keep passing by, taking it all in. few more breaths here enjoy a few moments of quiet in order to really connect with what is happening inside the body can you keep the mind present with your body here on the mat letting go of everything else that distracts you knowing that it'll be there for you after your practice as well more breaths. All right, we're going to come out of this pose just as nice and slowly as we came into it. So press the hands down, lift the torso upright, tuck the left toes, maybe you step that left knee in a little bit, press back through the left heel so you can lift the left knee off the mat, engage the belly so you can feel your tailbone maybe scoop away from you a little bit, and then lift the left leg up or the right leg up off the mat, hug it in for a moment, and then reach it up three leg dog, hips up and high. And then exhale, right leg down. Down dog. Take a breath here. If you really feel like you need a vinyasa, feel free to pop into the sequence of sliding into plank, lowering and opening the heart. And then pause and down dog, enjoying the steadiness of the earth beneath you. Of this present moment the ability to slow and ease the breath. All right, float the left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee towards the left tricep. We're going to take that shin, 45 degree angle, point the toes out behind you. Lower the shin down. Stay lifted on the right toes. You press back through the heel. You might need to wiggle that foot back a little bit. Press down through the lift, left big toe. Imagine pulling that left knee, right foot in towards the center. Maybe you bring your hands back, lift the heart. Maybe you bring your hands to blocks, or maybe you bring your hands all the way to heart center. So your hips are seriously lifted off the ground. You're trying to pull in that low belly, feeling a deep stretch on the right thigh as you press that heel back, reaching the heart forward. You're finding strength here in the legs, finding freedom here in the neck. Once again, you can keep your hands down, lower them when you need to. Keep feeling that right hip rolling down, heart reaches forward. Two more breaths. All right, hands down. Engage the belly, lift that leg back in towards the belly and lift it up and back. Exhale, knee to tricep. Flex the foot, this time bring the ankle towards the right wrist. Shin is almost parallel, doesn't have to be completely. Keep the foot flexed so the toes are coming back to you. Oh, keep the shin up. Sorry, the knee up, shin up. Just the knife edge is down. You're going to hold it here. Lift that heart. Press back through the right heel. Three, two, one. Okay, now lower the knee and the shin down. All right, 
lower the left knee down or the right knee down. Go ahead and step it back a little bit, but keep those right toes tucked. You're going to begin to pull the left knee, right foot in towards one another. Inhale, lift up onto those fingertips. Feel length, feel strength. And then if you'd like to come down onto your forearm, feel free. But still keep strong in the legs. So you're still pulling the feet in towards one another. Finding that stability in the hips. You're feeling a lot of energy happening, firing in that left hip, left thigh. Maybe. Maybe this is easy peasy to you. And that's perfect as well. So bodies adjust and move through time just in conjunction with our life. Take a few more breaths here. Embrace all that this pose has to offer. And now we're going to begin to slow it down. So untuck the right foot. Maybe you step that knee back a little bit more. Relax through the left leg. Maybe the heel drops in towards the groin. And allow yourself to just fold over the legs as much or as little as you'd like. Just trying to surrender in this pose now. So I like to imagine the action of surrender, kind of just like floating in a pool, right? In order to float on the top of the water, you must really allow yourself to let go, right? You can't fight it. The moment you start to fight it, you kind of bob around, you start to sink a little. Allow yourself to imagine that you're on top of this beautiful, still, calm pond, and the body's able just to nice and softly relax into it. It'd be weird because you'd be face down, but you can relax. And your body just floats here. And there's uh, nothing but serenity surrounding you. And the muscles relax. The body is at ease. And the breath is still. softening into it, allowing yourself to stay present and to stay still. Breathe easy. A few more breaths. Feel the rhythm of the breath. Make sure the tongue and the face is relaxed. All right, one more breath here. And then nice and slowly, use your hands, lift the torso back upright. This time, if you have any props underneath the left hip, move them so you can bring the left hip down, swing the right foot back around. Bring the right foot and the left foot out in front of you, knees bent, scoot down towards the front of the mat, and allow yourself to come down to the floor. Take the feet as wide as the mat, or even wider if it's comfortable to you, and you're going to let the both knees fall over to the left. So it's kind of like this little staggered leg twist. If you'd like to take a little more depth here, open up the arms nice and wide, and you can even take that left foot and stack it on top of the right knee. Just allow the body to be heavy and soft. Finding stillness and ease. And then take one more breath here. And then unwind the legs. Bring the knees back up to center and lower them all the way down to the right. Once again, you want to take that right foot up and stack it on top of the left knee, do so. Let the body soften, feeling a sense of heaviness. Like you begin to just to turn into Kathy. One more breath here. And then release the foot. Bring the knees back up to center, bring the feet together, and the knees come out nice and wide. Bring any props underneath the knees that you would like. Bring the left hand to your heart, the right hand to your belly, 
and allow yourself a moment to just turn inward here and relax. Observe once again that internal landscape and just observe.